Now, let's talk about the heading significant of different landmarks, such as the Statues of Liberty, Hoover Dam, Georgia Gatstones, and many others. The Statue of Liberty is on Liberty Island in New York. It was dedicated on October 28, 1886, as a gift from the French Freemasons to the American branch. The Masonic logo is on the pedestal. The statue is a woman in a robe, holding a torch in right hand and a tabuna and sana in left hand. The inspiration came from Libertas, the god goddess of freedom in ancient Rome. The design was inspired by Orion. Shen Xiu Fo, bitter juice, is a star in the armpit, armpit position of Orion, because the eve is made of Adam's rib. Betelgeuse is a symbol of Eve. Statue of Liberty holds the torch in her right hand to bring light to the world. The statue's left foot is a Shenxiu 7, the bright blue mega star in Orion. Symbols Adam the first footprint of God. The two make the date July 4th, which is the independence the date of United States. At the bottom of the statue, we see a bedstool with a fourth side and a base of four wood, which is an 11-sided star-shaped structure. It implies longitude 114 degree. The left foot of the Statues of Liberty is a rigel, which means the seventh star of Shenxiu. Shenxiu itself means three, giving us latitude 37 degree. Together, longitude 114 degree west and latitude 37 degree north point to the location of the big footprint. The Hoover Dam is located at the border of Nevada and Arizona. It crosses the different time zones. The latitude is 36 degree and the longitude is 114 degree. The dam itself is at the junction of two time zones. The longitude of the dam is 114 degree, which is the time of Passover. Nisan January 14 is the beginning of Passover, which is also longitude 114 cross from the Hoover Dam. The wings of angel sculpture point to the sky, and their feet point to the ground, which directs us from the constellation map to the road map. This also connects to the runway in Area 51 called Angel Winds and the Big Footprint. Now we continue to talk about the Georgia Gatstones. On the Gatstones, there are 10 principles as shown on the screen. Now uh, let's look at the physical data of the fifth top stone. If you multiply the two numbers in lengths, width, and thickness separately, then you add up the sums, you will get 115. If you add up the numbers in lengths, width, thickness, and and up the sum, you will get 37. The numbers point to the longitude and the latitude of area 51, which is 115 degree and 37 degree. From Genesis 18 to 22, we can know three men means the three stars of Shenxiu. 
the belt of Orion. Washing feet means pointing of location for us. Going forward means traveling from 114 degree to 115 degree. Making bread means the longitude. The butter and the milk mean fresh milk after stirring and starting a stratified by layers of butter and water. It's the meaning of latitude. Abraham was still standing before the Lord means the footprint of both were here. Let's look at the doomsday promise, destruction and the rebirth in Revelation chapter 19, 1 to 25. We know that when the two angels arrive at Sodom, Lot wash their feet, implying that this event was about a location. Baking unleavened bread for them predict the Passover. Passover is from January 14 to January 15, thus point to the location between longitude 114 degree and 115 degree. Lord arrived at Zor. Zor means small as it referred to item. And the sun had come out, meant changes in longitude from 114 degree to 115 degree because the sun is related to longitude. God's sulfur and fair at these two locations meant nuclear explosion. The two elements of nuclear bomb are plutonium and uranium, and both cities were destroyed. Passover is full of destruction and rebirth. The Lord destroyed the two cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, and promised Abraham and Sarah a son. The first Passover was about destroying Egyptians' ruling class and the promise of a new beginning for Israel. The Last Supper was about Jesus' death and rebirth, in which he predicted his passing and told about his second, second coming. With two more details, eating unleavened bread and washing feet, the Lord meeting Abraham foretells Passover and can be considered also a Passover. Eating unleavened bread, washing foot, wearing sandals further connect the three events. We go from location to theme of Passover and to the big footprint. Finally, we get to big footprint. Tracks of God are footprint. Rango is a God's foot. Christianity, God created man in his own image. The first man was Adam, and Adam was the first footprint. The footprint was made of stone. The stone was fired, not formed naturally. During Passover, lambs are roasted, unleavened bread is eaten. The form of the Holy Communion and the feet are washed at the end. They are all emphasizing the longitude and the latitude of 114 degree and 37 degree and point to the location of the big footprint near the mysterious area 51. Buddhism, Buddha stretching his golden foot before his passing, so that people could search according to the footprint. After Buddha Dharma's death, he was seen that he returned to the West only with one sandal, 
so that people could follow his footprint and looked for another sandal to the west. Toizen, Lao's final destination was also the west, heaven, aiming to show he was heading to the west, and the footprint gradually disappeared in the sand. Myth and legend, Nuwa patched up the sky from the northwest position of 11 to the southeast position of 5. The myth was coded with the longitude 115 degree. She filled the sky with melting rocks, just like the ones that we see at the site of the big footprint. Landmark building, the base of Statues of Liberty is actually an indicator to the long location of longitude of 114 degree and the statue itself as Betelgeuse as Shenxiu 4 is a great three constellation is an indicator of latitude of 37. The longitude of the Hoover Dam is 114 degree with angel sculpture when pointing to aerial area 51 and the feet pointing to the big footprint. The size of top stone in Georgia Gatstone indicated to the longitude and the latitude of aerial area 51. Doomsday promise the chapter of the Bible in which God promised Abraham a son also point to the big footprint, the U.S. National Nuclear Test Site and Area 51. The big footprint point to the location of the Second Coming. All are keys that unravel the secret of human civilization and all religions. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.